Hey boys and girls, we're going to start this video with a little bit of a review. Um, so in the beginning of the geology unit, uh, we learned that we live on the Earth's crust and the crust is the outermost layer of the Earth. Um, so if I bring up a diagram of the Earth's layers, um, we live on this outermost layer, the crust, um, which is the you know outermost. We live on it. It surrounds the Earth. Um, if we go deeper in, we have the mantle. That's the layer in red. Um, then we have the outer core, which is the orange, and then the inner core, which is the yellow in the middle. As we go deeper into the earth, the pressure and temperature, of course, increases, but we live on that outermost layer called the crust. So that's going to be important to keep in mind. Um, so continuing, if I go back to the presentation here, um, we need to keep in mind that the crust of the earth, um, it's not a single piece. Okay, it seems to be when we look at the globe, when we look at the earth, that it's kind of one big piece, the crust, but it's really broken into many large pieces that we really can't see. And these large pieces are called tectonic plates. Um, so that word tectonic plates is going to be very important moving forward. And these tectonic plates are kind of like a big puzzle, like you see at the bottom of the slide. And the puzzle pieces, they fit together. And where they meet and fit together is going to be very important as well. We're going to talk about what those are called in a moment. So this is a map of the tectonic plates, of those large puzzle pieces of the Earth's crust. And um, there's not that many of them, probably about a dozen. And each color represents a different tectonic plate. Um, so if you're good with maps and locations, uh, let me choose... I guess we can do a blue. Uh, New York, New Jersey, and I'm just estimating right now, will we be somewhere around that blue X that I just added? Um, I'll circle that X. That, that's kind of an approximate location. We're located on the North American plate. I know it says Caribbean plate right next to where I put that mark, but the Caribbean plate is actually um, that, I don't know, skin colored plate underneath the North American plate that the little line's pointing to. We're part of this very large North American plate that includes North America um, and kind of that whole general area. There's a bunch of different ones. You can kind of check out the map to see what those are, but those are the tectonic plates of the crust. Now, besides the tectonic plates, uh, we also have where these plates meet. So um, the black lines on the diagram, you can kind of see them, those are called the plate boundaries. Okay, these are where two tectonic plates meet, and all, not only do they meet, there's some interaction that happens there as well. So our North American plate meets up with the Eurasian plate on both sides. Okay, that's the green plate. Um, we also meet up with the Juan de Fuca plate, that's that little teeny plate that's kind of right next to California. Um, I can circle it there in green for you. This is the very small Juan de Fuca plate. Um, we meet up with the Cocos plate, the Caribbean plate, the Arabian plate. So we have a lot of interactions with other plates where these puzzle pieces come together. So those are called the plate boundaries. Um, now, if I continue here, um, these tectonic plates or puzzle pieces, they interact at plate boundaries. So not only are they together, but there's things that happen there, which we'll talk about interactions, things that are occurring. And um, they actually, uh, they move, the, the, the crust and the puzzle pieces, they move because underneath our crust is the mantle and the mantle is not rock like the crust. The mantle is more molten or liquidy. So um, it's moving around, which is causing the crust above it to also slowly move around. This is happening very slowly, but still it is moving. Um, and this movement um, can cause many things to happen. Uh, for example, shaking the earth, those plates moving um, can cause earthquakes. We're gonna talk about how they can make volcanoes. Um, they can push up called uplift to make mountains. And they can also spread apart and actually cause the seafloor to get larger. That's called seafloor spreading. So again, a plate boundary is where two tectonic plates meet and they interact, which is where the puzzle pieces come together for the Earth's crust. Now, there's three types. We're going to get into more detail about these three types in your next task. Um, but just as a little brief intro, the three types are, we have your, our divergent boundary. That's the one on the left side of this chart. And if you look at the arrows at this um, plate boundary, 
the plates would actually be slowly moving apart in opposite directions. Okay, so that's divergent. There's a D that starts off that word divergent. Think about they're going in different directions. They're distancing themselves from each other to kind of help you remember that D for divergent. Convergent is the opposite. They're coming together the same direction. Um, think of the C in convergent for coming together, getting closer. Um, and then transform, they're kind of just rubbing against each other. Um, they're kind of in opposite directions, rubbing. And all of these can cause different things to happen. Um, so that's the end of this presentation. Um, now you're going to move into your next task in a little bit that's going to get into more detail about these plate boundaries and what they can do and what we experience from them on the Earth's surface.